This is the Sterling by Music Man Dark Ray. And this is an awesome bass that features the coveted Alpha Omega distortion circuit inside of the bass itself. So you're able to go from those classic Stingray cleans and then flip a switch and go into some crazy awesome distortion or fuzz tones on the fly. So back in 2021, Ernie Ball Music Man came out with the Dark Ray, and this was just such a fun and just really cool bass. I love the idea of onboard effects. While it is kind of niche, it's just super fun to play around with, and it sounded and played fantastically. But at almost $3,000, it's not realistically obtainable by everyone. So it's just really cool that Sterling by Music Man was able to take basically the same concept, but make it in a much more affordable package to be able to reach way more basses. And at basically the exact same amount of quality, playability, and feel too. But before we dig into the Dark Ray and for the sake of transparency, this video was sponsored by Sterling by Music Man. But of course, as with any sponsored content on my channel that has absolutely no effect on what I say, what I play, anything I do in this video at all, they don't even get to see it before you guys or anything like that. I'm just a bassist who loves trying out different kinds of gear and seeing what cool sounds I can get out of it and also what cool riffs I can make with it too. So yeah, let's just just jump right into it. So just like its more expensive American-made older brother, the Sterling by Music Man Dark Ray just looks great in this all black configuration that just looks super murdered out. So then whenever you put one of the dark glass drive circuits on and it has that LED ring that pops up, it just makes it flash and just looks so cool to me. You have a Neato body that has a really great feel and weight to it in my opinion, as well as a really good just natural resonance too. You have black hardware across the entire base, including their own design bridge, as well as two tuners too. Then on top of that, you have Sterling by Music Man's H1 Alnico humbucker. And then of course the main drawing aspect of this bass is the dark glass preamp that's in here. You have Dark Glass's clean two band active preamp that also has the Alpha Omega drive circuits in it as well. Going down your controls are volume, then gain for the distortion circuit, blend for the distortion circuit, and then overall treble and bass EQ controls. Then for your three way toggle switch, all the way towards the bridge is clean. In the middle, you'll have red, which is alpha for your distortion. And then finally, all the way towards the neck is blue, which is omega for that really just loose, nasty fuzz sound. And then on top of that too, internally, when you take the back plate off, off. On the circuit board yourself, you're able to actually change the independent volume of both the alpha channel and the omega channel too. So if you want your alpha channel just to be a little louder than your regular clean sound, you're actually able to dial that in exactly how you want to, which is just so cool to me. Then moving up, you have a 21 fret roasted maple neck with an extremely smooth and very rich looking ebony fingerboard. And if you've seen any of my videos before, you'll probably know that I absolutely love, love, love Stingray bass necks. They just feel so perfect in your hands to me, no matter what. Thank you. 
So for the pros on the Dark Ray, I absolutely love being able to have the Alpha and Omega drive circuits right there on board. It's so fun to play around with and it sounds really good with low gain too. I found that having the gain and the blend just sort of mixing it up a little bit and having it to where a majority is your clean sound but you have that nice little bit of fuzz or distortion on the bottom end of it sounds so cool and so unique. While this isn't for everyone, it really is a lot of fun just to play around and experiment with. And not only that, you have great playability and just fantastic feel across the entire bass too. As for the cons, as much as I was just talking up the really awesome idea of the drive circuits on board, I know this isn't for everybody. People think that it's sort of a niche gimmick, but it actually is really cool to play around with. But again, this is something that not everyone's really gonna fall in love with, which is fine. For me personally, I also wish there was a mid control as well. While you do have treble and bass EQ controls, I feel like having that mid control would just be even better, but that's just me personally. And then another thing is that I found that the nut for some reason on this just would not uh, tighten all the way. And that kind of seems ridiculous on a bass that is $1,400. And I guess this can be another con, but the base is $1,400 street price. While that is literally half the going price of a new Ernie Ball American made dark gray, uh, $1,400 for a Sterling by Music Man base is just uh, a lot, it seems like. But that might also just be the new norm because of inflation and everything that's going on in the world. And it's just one of those things that's like, oh, maybe this is just the new standard from here on out. But I would just feel a lot more comfortable if this base was around like, I don't know, $1,200 or maybe even like a thousand, maybe $1,100 or something like that. So overall for the Sterling by Music Man Dark Ray, you're able to have basically the playability, sound, and feel of the American made Dark Ray, but now at literally half the cost, which I know a lot of people will be very excited for. And it's something that I'm excited to see what new things come out with Ernie Ball and Sterling by Music Man too. There's a lot of really awesome variety to have with this onboard drive preamp. And again, I'm just ready to see what other kind of cool niche things like this they come up with in the future. But of course, let me know what you guys think about the Sterling by Music Man Dark Ray and what other really cool bases I need to be checking out. Thank you all so much for watching, as always, for watching, commenting, subscribing, sharing my videos, follow me on social media, all that weird, crazy stuff. I truly do appreciate y'all. And of course, a humongous thank you to my beautiful Patreon supporters right over here. If you wanna be like one of these gorgeous people right here and help support the channel every single month, then go ahead and head on over to my Patreon page. But y'all, thank you again so much for watching, as always. And of course, no matter where in the world you are, stay safe, practice that bass, practice that bass even more than you're thinking about doing. Just, just keep practicing, do it more and I'll see y'all next time.